after the crash. It's low voltage function, hazard lights on, doors unlocked and open. But the call failed. Rescue and extrication rating, acceptable. It has a great structural design. The front compartment worked well with the truck's rear guard. It transmitted the impact force to the wheel and suspension through shotgun. That greatly reduced crash speed and the pressure on compartment. The eight pillar consists of hot form high strength steel. Its inner panel is also robust. The door ring remained intact in the crash. So did the eight pillar. Its structure rating, great. All airbags deployed. Dummies got great protection. The airbags worked for a long time, pre-tensioning seat belts activated. The great structure provided excellent protection. Only minimal injuries. Great. In this crash test, its overall rating, great. 40 miles per hour 40% frontal offset crash against a deformable barrier. Simulates a crash against other vehicles. This is the IIHS moderate overlap frontal crash evaluation, a standard in NCAP assessments. All vehicles are set to the maximum load. Front, one dummy. Second row, two dummies. If there's a third row, Two dummies. Three, two, one, lift off. The global model Tesla Model 3 is well optimized for such crashes. Low voltage activated. Hazard lights on. Doors unlocked and opened. A call initiated but the operator can't hear. Rescue and extrication rating, great. Its bumper beam and crash box worked well. So the compartment was fine. Barely any deformation on the A, B, and C pillars. Door rings were intact, great. Almost all airbags and seat belts activated. The driver only had minor chest injury. Acceptable. The front restraint system rating, great. The rear left passenger had severe neck injury. Moderate. Minor chest and calf injuries. Acceptable. The rear right one had minor injuries. Acceptable. The rear restraint system rating, acceptable. Its overall rating, acceptable. 50 miles per hour 70% rear end crash by a one point for tons test vehicle. Simulates a secondary high speed rear ending. The dummy layout and weight distribution remained in change. According to the US federal regulations 301 and 305, major focuses are fuel and battery leakage, thermal runaway, and structural integrity. After rear end crash test, no battery leakage or thermal runaway. So its battery system integrity rating, great. Its overall structure was fine, the bumper beam and crash box work well, so the compartment remained intact. All doors opened. 
Is structure rating great? Its overall rating in this test, great. 